Hey guys, what's so, up? Uh, back with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to do my AEW Forbidden Door uh, 2023 predictions for this Sunday. So let's get this on the way, shall we? No time like the present. Uh, good, uh, uh, good morning as well, by the way. It's like 6 o'clock in here when I'm recording this. So good morning, everybody. <laughs> I feel like I'm in assembly here back at school again. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> anyway, let's get this on the way. Uh, no time, no, no prattling around, Nathan. Let's get on with it. Uh, first match, we have Athena taking on uh, Billy Starks in the uh, in the first round of the Women's Owen Hart Foundation Tournament on the women's side. Uh, Athena, I'm going to go with Athena on this one. Uh, she's the ROH she's the ROH Women's Champion, and uh, keep her strong by having her advance in this women's t in this women's tournament. So uh, yeah, uh, Athena it is. Uh, next match, we have. <coughs> The AEW Women's Championship on the line is we have the AEW Women's Champion Tony Storm defending the title against Willow Nightingale, the IWGP Women's Champion uh, Willow Nightingale. So my pick for this one is of course Tony Storm to retain. Uh, I don't see her. She don't. She only just won it at Double or Nothing last month, so I don't see her losing losing it um, this early on. Uh, so yeah. No, no offense, Will and Nightingale, but I think Tony Storm's probably got this one in the bag. Probably with a little help from the outcasts, uh, Ruby Soho and Soraya. Uh, next match, we have a four-way for the international for the AEW International Championship. We have the champion Orange Cassidy defending the championship against Zack Saber Jr. Uh, who is it? Zack Saber Jr., Shibata, and Daniel Garcia should be an should be a good four-way. But of course, I'm going to win the champion to retain Orange Cassidy to retain the international championship and continue his momentum with the international championship. He's had the title for a while now, and uh, I feel like he's uh, not going to lose it. Not going to lose it here anyway. I, I don't think it, I don't know I don't know who he's going to lose it to, but I have a feeling he's not going to lose it here. That's why I'm going for Orange Cassidy to retain. Anyway, next matchup. We have a match that we have a person involved in the, in this next matchup that I never thought I'd do a prediction about again. Uh, after what happened last September, you, right here, CM Punk, uh, the men's uh, first round Owen Hart tournament matchup, foundation tournament matchup. We have CM Punk taking on Satsui Kujima. Uh, should be a good match. Um, very intrigued to see what this uh, is going to happen with CM Punk. You know, very uh, you know, kind of walking on eggshells when it comes to the backstage stuff with CM Punk. But uh, you just got to try to ignore that stuff and just get on with business, I guess. Um. Anyway, less to talk about that the better. We'll just talk about the in-ring stuff. Uh, so yeah, CM Punk's back. He teamed up with some. He teamed up with um, FTR on Collision couple last Saturday. And uh, he's back, so uh, he's got a pay-per-view match against Kojima, and uh, I'm going to go with CM Punk, of course, to win this first-round matchup. I think CM Punk will go a long way in this uh, Owen Hart Foundation. I won't be surprised if he wins it. Uh, so yeah, CM Punk to return to uh, CM Punk to beat at Kojima to advance in the tournament. Next match, because I feel like it, it's going to be we're going to do the five-on-five -five match next. Uh, this is a five-on-five -five match between the the Blackpool Combat Club and the Elite War continues, as we have the Blackpool Combat Club's John Moxley, Claudio Casanoli, and Wheeler Yuta teaming up with Takeshita and Shuta Uma, Uma the uh, John Moxley's uh, protege from Japan, to take on the Elite. Eddie King's uh, the, the, that's uh, the Elite on the Elite side. We'll have the Young Bucks, uh, Hangman Page. Teaming up with Eddie Kingston and uh, tomorrow Ishii, which should be fucking awesome. Looking forward to this five-on-five -five match. Should be not should be another banger between the Elite and the Blackpool Combat Club. Should be awesome. I'm going with the Elite, Eddie Kingston and uh, and Ishii to to win this one. Yeah, should be fun. Should be a fun match. Uh, anyway, next next match move next match moving on. We have a six-man tag team matchup as the Jericho Appreciation Society. Of Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara team up with uh, Angry Grandad himself, Manura Suzuki, everyone's favorite Grandad, uh, Manura Suzuki, to take on the team of Sting, Darby Allen, and a mystery partner of Darby Allen and Sting's choosing. Of course, that will be uh, that will be uh, revealed on Saturday at Collision 
on AEW Collision on Saturday night, so we'll, we'll find out who Sting and Darby Allen's tag team partner will be on Saturday night. But for now, I'm going to go with Sting, Darby Allen, and the, the mystery partner so for now. The, the, that's my prediction for the for Forbidden Door. Uh, I've gone for Chris Jericho two times this year on pay per view uh, with Revolution and Double or Nothing, and it came back to bite me in the ass against my against family members. So uh, yeah, I'm not I'm 0 two against family members in predi- AEW predictions this year. Thank all thanks to Chris Jericho. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to pick Sting and Darby Allen and the, the, the mystery partner to beat the Jericho Appreciation Society and Minoru Suzuki on Sunday night. Next match, we have the AEW World Championship on the line as we have the World Heavyweight Champion MJF defending the title against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Um, easy pick right here, MJF to retain. Nothing really much to say. It's just it's going to be a good match. I look forward to it. Um, but I'm just going to retain because I, I see I'm just holding the title for a lot longer than, you know, a little bit longer. Maybe he might lose it to Adam Cole, who knows, we'll see. Uh, but I don't see it happening here, so I don't see Tanahashi defeating MGF. Um, yeah, just another, just another big name on the, uh, to, uh, to add to the people who MGF has beaten in this world title reign. So yeah, MGF to retain. Uh, next match, we have the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Obviously, we have the, we have the current champion, Sonata defending the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship against Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Uh, this one should be a fun match, but uh, with a predictable finish. Uh, I've got Sonata winning to retain. Uh, it's Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Jungle Boy can afford to take the loss. That's why I think they booked it. Uh, should be a good match, but no real, no real threat of the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship changing hands here. Uh, I think Sonata will retain over Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Anyway, we have the next match. I didn't know whether to put this one last or second to last, so I decided to put it second to last. We have the dream match of Okada. Kashiki Okada t- taking on the American Dragon himself, Brian Danielson. Boy, boy howdy. This is going to be a excellent, bloody awesome match. Not bloody in the sense of it's going to be like, you know, it's not as bloody like a blood match. But it's going to be, even though I won't be surprised with Brian Danielson. Uh, he, has, he, has near, he has near John Moxley on a regular occasion, so I won't be surprised. But I'm expecting really good. This is expect. This is going to be a really good match. This is a dream match that a lot of people have been wanting for a long time. Okada versus Danielson. Ever since Danielson left the WWE, this is the match that people have been kind of uh, throwing out there as potential dream matches for Danielson. So uh, we get to see it this year. Brian Danielson versus uh, Okada should be a fun match. I'm going with Okada to win. And, uh, but, at the end of the day, I think we all win in this match. Uh, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I got Okada to win. Anyway, that brings us on to the main event. Well, on the main event of my predictions, anyway. Uh, we have the main event. We have the IWGP United States Championship on the line in a rematch from the clash from this past January's Wrestle Kingdom 17. We have Kenny, by God, Omega. Kenny Omega. Defending the IWGP United States Championship against the former champion, the man who we took it from back in January, Will Ospreay. Uh, this one should be a banger, should be awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, just like the Wrestle Kingdom January match, that was a really good match in January. Hopefully Osprey gets a little bit more offense in this one than he did in January. Um, yeah, uh, Omega Osprey 2. For the IWGP United States Championship, can't get any better than that, in my opinion, uh, it, it, for Forbidden Door. And uh, I'm going to go with the man himself, Kenny By God Omega, to retain the IWGP United States Championship. Uh, yeah, so I think Kenny Omega will retain, and it should be a fun show. So there you go, guys. Just let me go through them again, just in case, uh, just in case you didn't hear me all right or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Just to, just to, uh, just to clarify who I'm going for. So, in the first match, we've got Athena, then we've got Tony Storm to over uh, Willow Nightingale, uh, Orange Cassidy to retain in the four-way, CM Punk over Kojima, uh, the Elite in Kingston and Ishii to beat the Blackpool Combat Club, and uh, Ko- um, and Shuta Uma and uh, Takeshita. Uh, Sting and Darby and the mystery partners to beat Jericho Appreciation Society and uh, Suzuki. Uh, MGF to retain over Tanahashi. Sonata to retain over Jungle Boy, 
uh, Okada to beat Danielson and Kenny Omega to retain over Will Ospreay. So, there's my predictions for Forbidden Door. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't worry, think in the comments. Have a nice day, guys. See you guys later. I'm out.